Hello and welcome back. So we've added one item to validate. So let's add something, a second one that will help us to see what's going on. So I'm going to duplicate this one for passwords and just use this to deal with the first name, for example. Now, the first name, we need it to be a, a specific way. So we're going to use a regular expression here. Uh, so first name, let's just write the error here. We're going to say first name can only have, let's see. Uh, actually, let's just say only letters and on letters allowed in first name because we don't want spaces in our first name either okay so first name only uh, letters are allowed not even numbers so what we will do is we're going to use the preg much so say preg much here so I'm going to say preg much and put a pattern here. So like this. And then let's move this here and put that there. Okay, so first name preg much. And if not, so we will put a exclamation point. If this doesn't pan out, then we know to add an error. So here to add what we want is easy. We're just going to say A to Z, A to Z, small letter, and then capital A to capital Z. Don't put any spaces there, close that. And then we're going to put a dollar sign to say the end, and here a caret to say the beginning. So from the start to the end, it should be just letters, uh, small letters and capital letters that's it and then of course we're going to put a plus sign to say one or more characters must be present to represent this okay so that works right there and um yeah i think that's about it so once we get these errors we can retrieve them and display them so to display these errors let's go to our sign up view right here and right under here i'm just going to put some php tags and then right here i will print the uh, let's say print readable errors okay so if we have any errors they're going to be visible there so here i will press enter you see there's an empty array and if i just say add so here you see this one error that says only letters allowed in first name. Now, if you want to know exactly which one of these items has the error itself, you can put, instead of having a zero there, we can put the name itself there. So that way, let me go back here to the sign up. Um, no, the user class. So that way we can use the key here, which is this one. So copy that and put it here. And then here we'll use password, like so. Now this can be handy if you want to add the errors right under the item itself. So if I want the error to be down below this first name here, that's how I'm going to be able to know. So if I say add again, you see now it's under first name and say only letters allowed in first name and then if i added something on the password there it should say uh, also password the passwords do not match okay so let's come back here we also need to check if these are empty so i'm just going to say if empty like so if they are empty or uh i'll say or double pipe like so so let me put this back here again copy and put it there 
So same thing here, if empty. So I'm going to say if empty, put password there, and then say or like this. Okay, so if this is empty, we'll have the same issue. So add, you see that, even though this was empty, we get passwords do not match, we get only letters allowed. Or you can say, please add, uh, you can make this separate, that's entirely up to you. If empty can be one if statement, and then the preg match can be a second statement, so that there are different errors for all this. But the point here is that you can add as many of these if statements as you want for each particular item. So the same way I have one for the first name, I will have one for the last name, duplicate this and just change first to last. Just say last like so. And it's the same thing, last name, last name, only letters allowed in the last name like so. So here it's check for password, but let's change that to first name and then check for last name here. Let's change that to last. And password and what's the other one? Um, there's email. Okay, so we have to check for a valid email as well. So check for email. Now, if empty uh, email is not valid like so. So we change that to email as well, email. And then I will have to change that as well to email. And right here, I will add, let me change this to email as well and remove this other one. Okay, so here we can use uh, filter var. I hope this is correct. And then we can get the email, put it there. We can use the flag and say uh, filter uh, validate underscore email. So if you see it change to italics, then you've got it right. That's the constant to tell it to validate an email. So if that is true, and then we put a not there to say if it doesn't pass the email test, then we get here email is not valid password so let's see if we can uh, get the email to show up here so i'm just going to refresh cancel this so i wanted to complain about the email so add user you see email is not valid but then if i add an email here email at email.com let's see if it will disappear so add and you see the email is gone it's not complaining about that anymore so that's working the password still are not working so what's remaining is the gender and the rank so let's see if we can uh, validate those as well so here i'm just going to say check for gender so i'll change all instances of password to gender okay so check for gender And I'll just say gender is not valid. Okay, so gender is not valid, but how do we check for gender? So if it's empty or uh, we can say, let me remove the second one. So what we will do here is say, uh, let's put an array here of the genders so i'm just going to say genders like that we just add one which is female or i can just say genders is equal to and then add those two items there and then say male like so let's put the equal sign over here so genders is equal to that which is an array of male and female and then all we have to do is say in array in array like so 
So the needle is what we are looking for. So what we are looking for is the given gender by the user right there. And then the haystack is the genders. And let's put that there. Okay, great. So female, male. Now, if not in array like that, then gender is not valid. So let's see if we do complain about the gender. So it's here, gender is not valid. But let's see if we do select a gender and say add, it disappears. So the validation is working just fine. And then here we have um, the rank. So these are the ranks that we have. Now you can do exactly the same thing that we did. You see the super admin, all these things that we added here. Let me come back to the sign up view. So these are the guys we added. So I can do exactly the same thing in the validation here and add the way I did with the gender. So just duplicate that. And instead of genders, it will be rank. Oops, I went too far there. Let me select again. So I'll say rank. So there's ranks here, rank. Uh, rank is not valid. Okay, so ranks here will be, let's come back here for a second. So we have a student, we have reception. So let's add those here. Student uh, reception. Let me duplicate these a couple more times because I know there are quite a number of them. Come back here, there's admin, lecturer, and super admin. So admin here. Okay, that's lecturer. Admin, and then uh, super admin. So those are the ranks. If it's not in there, rank is not valid. Okay, so back here, let's test it again. Let's add a user. So all these complaints here, rank is not valid. So let's add a rank. Let's also add a gender and see if it too will disappear. And that's true. If we add an actual email here. Oh, so the others come back because it does not refresh. It doesn't bring back the old data that we had. So also, we need to be, oh, that's not first name spelling here. That's something I missed right there. Where is this? First should be like that. Okay. Okay, so, so far the validation is working fine. So if everything is correct, let's come back here to the sign up controller. So the point here I'm trying to show is that the controller should not have any active logic in here. So whenever you want to do a lot of calculations here, you must move that calculation to the model. It must always go to the model and not happen here. This should just be a short trip of uh, designating, uh, maybe that's the word, designating jobs, for example. Here it's giving the user class what to do to validate and then to redirect if things go well, et cetera, et cetera, okay? And uh, also to display errors. And then it also brings in the view finally to show the result. But you're not supposed to be doing any heavy logic in here at all. All that should go to the user, uh, to the model, sorry. And then every, all the HTML goes to the view. This way there's a separation of powers. There's controller, there's just controls. There's a model that does all the work. And then there's a view that displays the result. So this is the point here. So that's why we are moving all this stuff into the model to be done here. If we want to do another job, we just create a different function to do that particular job. And then we'll just call it from the controller. This is how things should work. Okay, so for now, let's see if, if we do everything correctly. Let's see if we're going to be redirected to the login page. So let me write an actual name here. Um, 
let's see uh, and then let's add an email let's add a gender let's add a rank and let's add a password as well password and password as well here so if everything goes well we're supposed to be redirected to the login page so add user and we are at the login page so if you are here then everything went well but we haven't saved any information because we didn't tell it to do that so let's do that in the next video